Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial video. Uh, today's video is actually going to be a follow-up on a video that I made about a month ago. Um, I had an issue where I went to turn on my PlayStation and it was telling me in a big error screen that I needed to reinstall the system software. Uh, and so we made a step-by-step -step tutorial of how to do that. Uh, and the link to that video will be in the description here. So if you're looking for a complete guide, you can go ahead and watch that video and it will walk you all the way through. It's worked for uh, thousands of people in the last month, um, but I am finding that a lot of people are having some issues where their PlayStation is telling them that they cannot find the update file, it cannot initialize, etc. And so helping those people troubleshoot through the system, I found that it really comes down to the same few issues. Uh, typically they haven't formatted their, hum their thumb drive in the correct format, or uh, they haven't created the folders quite right, or they've downloaded the incorrect uh, file or named it incorrectly. And so when we fix those things, typically it solves all the problems. So I just wanted to make another video in case you are having that issue that you can go through and troubleshoot your thumb drive and get your PlayStation back up and running. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and install the thumb drive or insert, I guess, the thumb drive that you're using for your PlayStation. And then we're gonna go here to File Explorer and come over to the USB drive and we're gonna make sure that it's formatted in FAT32. And to do that, we're gonna right click, go to Properties, and you should see here under the Drive Properties the file system that you're using. If this says anything but FAT32, you need to reformat your hard drive. Uh, your PlayStation won't be able to read the thumb drive and that's why it can't find the files. Uh, if it says FAT32, then you should be okay. You don't necessarily need to reformat it, but you can if you want. Um, to do that, we're going to go ahead and right click that thumb drive again, come up here to format, and then we can select the file system here. We do not want NTFS, XFAT, we want FAT32. And you can go ahead and click start. Now it will warn you that by formatting your hard drive, it's going to erase everything on that thumb drive. Um, for me, I don't really care nothing on here is too important so I will go ahead and click OK to reformat that thumb drive and it is done so now oh, we can go ahead come back into the file explorer come to the USB drive properties and yours should say FAT32 because you've just formatted it well done now we can go ahead and go into this USB drive and we need to create the folders. Um, you wanna make sure that you're on the main page of the drive. So up here it should say USB drive. If yours shows a different drive letter, D, F, X, Q, it doesn't really matter as long as you are in the main USB drive page. Uh, go ahead and right click, go new, folder, and we're going to create a folder called PS4, all capitals. Now, we're going to go into that folder, right click, select New Folder, and in all capitals, we are going to name this folder Update, singular. Initially, I had made the mistake of call, naming it Updates with an S on the end, and it couldn't find the folder. The PS4 is very uh, specific in what it wants. So your drive, thumb drive, should look like this, USB drive, PS4, update, and it will be empty. We, right now we don't have any foil in here and that's just fine. Um, so let's go ahead and download the file folder that we need. We're gonna minimize this and in the description of this video is the link to this page so that you can get to the PlayStation software update page. When I made the video, uh, currently the latest version is 6.5. In the future, this will certainly change as PlayStation continues to release updates. It's not a big deal if yours says something different. Um, but you want to make sure that you scroll all the way to the bottom under Perform a New Installation of the System Software 
and click agree and download now. We don't want any file that's above this. They are all doing different things and will cause an error that your thumb drive or your PS4 cannot find the file you need. Do not click agree and download now. Take the time to scroll down underneath perform a new installation of system software and download this file. Now I've done, I've done that already um, for the tutorial video so I don't need to do it. When you click here along the bottom you should see um, a file folder pop up. Um, when it's finished downloading here at the bottom you can cl click show in folder. It will take you where you need to or where this file is downloaded and then you can copy and paste into the thumb drive. So this is my file here. We're going to copy, come back over to the USB drive. Make sure you are in the update folder. So it should look like this across the top and paste. <clears throat> now, if you've downloaded the right file, it's about a gig. So it is a fairly large file that you're going to need. And so it's going to take just a minute to move that over. And that's just fine. Um, once this finishes, I will show you how to name the file correctly. Uh, and that should be the three things that we need to have for your PlayStation to read the file. So just a quick overview. We want to make sure that the USB drive is formatted in FAT32. If it's in anything else, this is not going to work. After we ha make sure that it's in the correct format, we want to um, create the file folders. And so we'll go from USB drive, we'll name our first folder PS4, all capitals, and in that folder, we'll create another folder called update. Now, this is almost finished. Um, we want to make sure that this file is the only file in the update folder when we go to do this. Having multiple files stashed in there can cause an issue where your PS4 can't read them. It gets confused and gives you an error. So it should look like this. Now, there's one more thing I need to fix. And because I've downloaded this file multiple times, Windows has automatically renamed the file PS4 Update 1. Your PlayStation does not want to look for PS4 Update 1, so we need to rename the folder, or the file, excuse me, download the parentheses, download the 1, and download the space. So your file name should be PS4 Update.pup. Uh, as long as that is correct, then everything should be golden. Now, if you've done everything in this video to a T and your system is still having issues, then the likelihood is that your hard drive is fried uh, and has died. And you will need to do a full swap of your hard drive. Um, it's really not too big of a deal if that's the case. Uh, I will create another video, show you an upgraded, even a better hard drive that you can get from Amazon fairly inexpensively, and step by step show you uh, how we will swap the hard drive and reinstall this software to get your PlayStation up and running. In the meantime, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to toss them in here. I will do my best to answer them. If this video has been helpful, I would really appreciate if you liked and subscribed so that I can make more videos like this. Uh, really appreciate you guys watching and have a wonderful day.